and welcome to the Oak and Lamb YouTube channel. My name is Becca Oaks. This is Anna Lamb and we are owners and craft educators here at Oak and Lamb. Today you might notice that our scenery is a little different. We are camping and wanted to bring you a really fun craft that you can take along while you're camping or doing other outdoor activities. You may have seen this trend around. It's been out for a couple of years, but people will take flat and kind of smooth round-ish river stones and decorate them and leave them around. And it is a really cute way to kind of just spread cheer and joy. You can also hashtag them with a cause or some type of event that you are promoting and spread awareness that way. But particularly at campgrounds, I love to go around and see where people have placed them. And I thought it would be a really cute idea to do that now. So we have found some cute little river rocks. We also found some, I don't know if you saw it or not, but we do have a craft haul on Dollar General and found a bag of smooth river rocks there. So that's fun. If you don't have them at your disposal, you can purchase them for a pretty reasonable price. But we are going to be using our acrylic paint pens, which we absolutely love. We always try to find different ways to use acrylic paint pens because they are new-ish to us. I don't know why it took us so long to figure them out. Anna, had you used them before I brought them into the studio? I used them on a Christmas craft that, that countdown that we did last year, yeah. but I was super surprised at how well they actually did on the rocks. I was thinking with it being super rough, like in the divots and stuff of a rock naturally, that you wouldn't be able to get smooth lines. But I was actually really wrong about that. The lighter colors, you have to have a, several colors, but the darker ones, maybe two coats, then you're done. Yeah, so we have some larger acrylic paint pens, some of the more, uh, the smaller ones, more fine tip precision. And then we have these fun colors too, which I don't think we've used these. And I have to tell you why. The Primrosia acrylic paint pens are kind of close to my heart. And because it does have that felt kind of tip, I was afraid that it would ruin. Did you, which one did you use? I've used a lot of those. She ruined my acrylic paint pens and I didn't know. Anyway, they're a little bit more expensive than the other ones. We will link all of these for you. The colors are pretty. They are beautiful. They're more jewel tone and these are more primary color, which is fine. But anyway, so we're going to be using acrylic paint pens and we have gone ahead and pre-painted these just so that because we're going to be layering and we will do a little bit of painting. I know that I'm going to write a word on mine and are you going to be adding any decal or this any little one is going to have some embellishments on it. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So we're going and then to, I've got to glue those. We're going to be adding that. And then we also have some little googly eyes. I call them googly eyes. I think Rachel calls them jig Are they jiggle eyes? wiggle eyes, google wiggle. eyes, whatever. I have no idea. Any you it's really popular now, especially because resin is such a hot craft item. You can find flat bead type embellishments pretty much anywhere. I'm calling them beads, but they're not. They're like little tokens, little charm type things. Um, and these, we got a paper studio. We'll give you a close-up in just a little bit. But you can find things like this at Hobby Lobby or craft stores. And these are actually scrapbook embellishments. So they're really popular to put on scrapbooks. So look there for sure. And then go over into the bead section. At Hobby Lobby, our bead section is right next to where the UV resin section is. And so you can find other little things to put in there too. So we have some flowers. We have some unicorns. We have some bumblebees. We have just rhinestones large rhinestones and what we're going to do is place those on our river stones that we've painted and embellished and then we're going to take uv resin which i don't have on the table i'll grab it in a second put the uv resin on it coat it on there so that it stays really well any decals any paints that we put on there will be um, covered with that and they should stand the test of time it will be really nice i do have my cricut joy here and a couple colors of vinyl so that if you are not into hand lettering, if your handwriting is lackluster like mine, then you can create a graphic, put it on here, and then we, like I said, will UV resin over that. So I think that's pretty much all we're using today. Just grab whatever you want to create a really cute, uplifting, inspiring, um, happy rock to lay around and let other people find. So, and is there anything else that you wanted to point out before we get started on this? Well, I am going to say, Becca went out and picked some rocks, and I didn't know what she had in mind for them, but if you can envision things when you look at something, like actually be intentional about your rocks, 
because you can go out and I found some that were like shapes. I'm like, oh, that actually looks like a dinosaur head or that looks like this or this looks like a rock. So if you're having a hard time figuring out what you want to put on there, kind of look at it and be like, well, that's kind of shaped like X, Y, Z, whatever. You know, like you're laying in the, in the field and looking up in the clouds and imagining yeah. what the clouds look like. It's the same concept. Yeah, at church, the uh, chairs that we used to have in the in the sanctuary had all these little dots on the metal portion. And you remember the Snoopy head that was in the one of the back one? But, but you could look and see like what the dot designs would make, like a dot to dot. I think creative people are just wired that Maybe way. Maybe we're just wired yeah. weird. I love that. But anyway, uh, before we get started, obviously this is a great project for kids or adults. Anybody who wants to participate, uh, acrylic paint pens are kid friendly in my opinion. Make sure that they are wearing clothes that will not get ruined because acrylic paint does not clean up quite as easily as other paints. Uh, UV resin, I'm going to encourage you to do that as the adult. Do not let the children do the UV resin part, but they can put everything else together and you can take it over from them. Make sure before you get started that you do have the proper PPE if you are using UV resin. I don't want to hear comments. Use the gloves, use the goggles, use the respirators, use whatever you need in order to feel safe with your UV resin. If you are not in a super sunny area, we are camping and it is hot, hot, hot and very sunny. So our UV resin will cure really quickly. However, you can use an LED UV light and cure inside. So if that is what you need to do, then feel free to do that. I think that's all of the housekeeping type things. So let's get to crafting. This is going to be a really fun, quick video and just give you some ideas on different things that you can do. Okay, so as promised, I want to give you an overhead shot of all of the cutesy little things I found. Like I said, these are Paper Studio from Hobby Lobby. They were $4.99 for only six charms. So make sure that you are catching Paper Studio when it is on sale. We also have the cute little bees, little crowns or tiaras, whatever you want to call them. This is bead design, and they're also from Hobby Lobby. And then we have these flowers. All of these are flat on the back, so it will make putting them on the rock pretty easy. And then we have some cute little rhinestones and then these gigantic rhinestones. I'm not really sure what we'll put them on. They are huge. I love them. I'm really excited. And little wiggle eyes. And then, like I mentioned, we already have painted some of these. Anna, do you want to pull yours over and show them what we have? Anna's very, very artistic and an overachiever. And so she's trying to one up me here with her super cute ideas. So what Anna was talking about with the shape of her rocks, you can see this is like the perfect dinosaur head. This is like the perfect puppy head. So Anna, yours are, these are pretty much finished, right? You just have to resin them? Yes, I have to resin these and then I'm going to actually finish painting this one as well. Okay. But um, so I have created, like I mentioned earlier, I have some decals I've already cut out. I know you can't see these because it's white on white. And the other thing I need to apologize for is that I forgot to bring transfer tape here on my camp trip. So I'm going to have to hand place these. Now, one thing that I did do because smarter, not harder, right? Is that I used a script font so that it was all one piece. So I don't have to place each letter individually. Anyway, I'm going to be placing that on there, putting some cute little decals or little embellishments here and there and then like i mentioned we will just be putting uv resin on here we are going to be using our j diction uv resin that we love so without further ado i'm not going to talk through this we're just going to craft you can watch what's going on and then we'll be finished with this pretty quickly because it's a pretty quick little craft
All right, there are the finished rocks. Look how cute. Who wouldn't love to go and find these randomly? They would just make anyone happy. And we had so much fun making them. Um, we can tell here that Anna is like just outshining all of us with her painting skills. Like how stinking cute are these? Oh my word. And if you are not very crafty in the painting world like me, then you can cheat and use your your cricket. So it's the best of both worlds. But I hope you enjoyed this and like these like we like them. We hope you enjoyed this video as much as we did creating it. We love doing fun things like this with you all and just enjoy looking at all the things that are available to you as crafters and around you and taking them and adjusting them, re not adjusting them, but just making them better, making them prettier. Um, as creative people, that's what we want to do. We want to make things around us pretty. So if you enjoyed this video, you would love the other videos here at Oak and Lamb. You can get notifications every time we post content or go live by turning on notifications. And if you're not already a subscriber to the YouTube channel, make sure you go and subscribe. It is free to do that. And if you want to support us in other ways, become a member here at Oak and Land. There are two ways you can do that. One is by purchasing our membership in the annual tier. One is by purchasing it monthly. You do get more of a discount if you purchase annually. And I'm going to give you an even better discount. You can use the code 35 OFF for $35 off the annual membership or the code FUN, F-U-N, for $10 off your first month here at Oak and Lamb. And what membership gets you is access to our entire library of cut files that we add to with free commercial use license. You also get access to our free courses, which we are adding to all the time and they really help um, if you are new to cricketing, especially. We have an amazing course for you. You've also get access to our private Facebook group where our community of crafters, the flock, is super, super supportive and helps you. If you are a beginner crafter, this place is for you. If you are a seasoned crafter, Oaken Lamb is for you as well. So join today. Let us know if you have any questions. Check the links below or the comments below, everything for all the supplies that we've used today. And let us know if you like this content and want to see any other content like this. Thank you so much for watching this and we'll see you here another day for another video.